know we're not very close, but it's like we're close enough. It's about to pour down rain. I'm at Target. I'm going to run in and show you. Hopefully, hopefully they have Halloween stuff. In my head, they do. It's about that time. My local Target still has school supplies up, and that's boring. So I came to the nice big Target. Also, I should show you my outfit. Um, can we just peek on these real quick? Can you see them? I almost wore these. Oh, it's just so fun. It's hard to pick which one is the coolest. Okay, let's go inside. We're going to Target. Who knows what else will be in store for us, but it's Halloween. Let's do it. But I obviously have to highlight this. I smell a child. I also smell rain. Oh gosh, that scared me. And a depleting bank account. Let's go. Oh, Target. Ooh, I see orange and black. <gasps> I actually see a lot of Halloween stuff. My Target has none of this. Oh my word, my Target is slacking serious. Is this a little witch broom? Oh my gosh, how darling is this? Have you seen the DIY where you can like make a witch room on top of your Roomba and it- It looks like a magic witch's broom is just floating around your house. Okay, well initially, I was not going to do the dollar spot right off of the bat. I was just go, oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Check this out. I was just gonna go straight to the seasonal section, but after seeing everything here, uh, I think I'm still gonna go to the seasonal section first. <laughs> but I figured I'd just show you an overview and then we'll come back here just for no good reason. Look at this, all this Thanksgiving stuff. Oh my gosh, it's <gasps> fresh pressed apple cider. Ooh, I want some cocoa. Oh, witch's brew, koozie coos, bubbles. Okay, I actually like this little overview, but diving in deeper, oh my gosh, it's adorable. And it's a little ghost. And an acorn. Oh, I forgot, I'm hungry. That's what I wanted to do first, eat. It's Peppa. Okay, so we're gonna dive deeper into this section um, because it looks like they're still stocking quite a bit. Uh, so let's search around first. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll be able to peel myself away. <laughs> oh my gosh, this music. I feel like I'm at a fiesta. Look at all of this cool stuff. So cool, so Halloween-y. Um, okay, let's take a deep dive into this area. Oh my gosh, bathroom towels. Am I gonna be that type of gal? I always aspire to be, but it never really happens. Okay, let's start up front. I also feel like I should take a thumbnail over here because this is most exciting. Oh my word, hey boo. Okay, I just, sometimes I need to have an overview and then deep dive. Okay, so let's start up here. $3 appetizer plates. I mean, I'd eat an appetizer off of these. I'd also eat it off of a paper towel, so that doesn't say much, but those are really sweet and darling. I feel like you can use that as any kind of plate. They also have these bowls with skeletons on them. I actually quite like this one, this big platter with the spider web. <gasps> Ooh, a candle. Wait, a ghost train? What does that even mean, a ghost train? I don't know, it doesn't smell like a train. <laughs> also been a while since I've been on a train. Okay, what's on this bowl? Oh, candy, perfection. And then a cat witch. Oh, and then this coffin tray. That could be fun if you're entertaining. Eat, drink, and be scary. And then they have this tablecloth. That's quite lovely. Okay. Trick or treat. They've got the skeleton over there on the tray. This uh, big old pumpkin, ceramic pumpkin, stuff like that will just break in my house. So what is this, a big old crayon? Oh, it is a lantern. And that is, is $25 and under decor. Well, that's, that's a good budget to have. Ooh, ah, so spooky, so dark, so delectable. Check out this cauldron. Oh, I'm gonna have the baby. I don't see a price on this, but I also don't know what I would do. You know what I would do with it? Put dry ice in it 
for what reason i don't know but they have this taper candle holder set of three they have a ton of pillows skeletons holding a bouquet some pumpkins down here and some foliage step two step two to have your way would you give up a try again how old is this song i can't believe they still play jams like this okay trick or treat feel like oh ten dollars that is a good price point Ooh, uh, all of these skeletons see i'm not good at like home decor so i don't even know like what would you put in there candy that's what i'm thinking Ooh, look at that pumpkin tray that would be perfect for thanksgiving all of these pumpkins that you could shove some stuff in Ooh, okay out of the corner of my eye they have a table runner looks like spider web-esque trick or treat what does the black one say oh we saw the black one and then out of the corner of my eye i saw this humongous bowl uh, and it says boo inside but you know that kind of gets covered by whatever you put in it unless it oh look at that punch bowl unless you just put like keys in it or something and then that'd be kind of unnecessarily big for to house your keys you know Okay, they've got spiderweb placemats if you're doing a whole setting, a whole spider tablescape. They have really cute welcome mats. Let's check on the price, these doormats. Oh gosh, I can't read it. Well, I checked on the Target app. I did it for you guys, but it came up as like product unavailable. So that was no help. If I had to guess, I'd say they were $10, but who knows? Roses are red, shadows are black, ghosts in the garden, watch your back. I mean, that's kind of terrifying, but not really. Crow's feet on a platter. Oh, yeah. Did we see these? How much are these? It's like they just don't even want us to know how much. But they are cute. A two pack of, they could be kitchen towels or any kind of hand towels. Ooh, bats. <gasps> Love that. And then the kitty cats. It's always fun. All right, over here, we've got some more stuff. We have some banners, happy Halloween, and more pillows. Oh, another doormat in the shape of a spider web. What is this? Oh, yep, tablecloth, we saw that. Cute. This is seasonal decor under $15, and boy, does that make me happy. Without a dope beat to step two. Okay, more pillows. Are we, is this deja vu? What's happening with the crow's feet too? That's really creeping me out. Okay. I feel like they are just throwing random stuff out here. $10 for this trick or treat sign. Eat, drink, and ooh, <gasps> cobwebs and ashes. That's my favorite scent. Mmm, that actually smells lovely. Midnight moon, also lovely. Ghoulish gourd. I like the look of them. Oh yeah, that smells the most like fall flavors. <laughs> They've got some tea light spider web holders, this creepy skeleton, you can put whatever the heck you want in, and then smaller skeleton heads. And check this out, this is fun. Ooh, I might get this. Am I doing a Halloween cook with me? Will I have the energy? <laughs> oh, am I kidding? I actually really like this, I think it's cute. Look, brownies, okay, well that, you just talked me into it. How about these? Tissue pom-pom spider kit, three bucks. I feel like my kids could make that and maybe have fun. Okay. I say they maybe have fun because, well, you never know. <laughs> they have some blankets. This one says boo. This one has cats on it. Oh my goodness. That's so stinking cute. A throw. Oh, these are just throw blankets. Someone just opened it up. Okay, and then did we see most of these? They just have the bowls that I showed, but they also have them in these plates. I assume what? These are three dollars each too, but who the heck really knows? There's no prices on any of this stuff. This is fun. Remember the McDonald's um, Happy Meals that would come in containers similar to this? Obviously bigger, just like a bucket kind of thing. Those were the good old days, weren't they? Okay, so they have cups and stuff and stuff. <laughs> A lovely day. Yeah, the soundtrack is pumping. All right, they've got a full fall market going on over here. Bunch of candles. Oh, check out this turkey. That is worth noting. 
Uh, over here, some more fall foliage. That'll really get your house in the mood. Some more tapered candles and pumpkins. I could go deeper into that, um, but I won't. Here are some pumpkins. <laughs> Mostly because we're here for the Halloween stuff, right? I feel like, well, I don't know what I feel like. I feel like smelling some pumpkin spice cupcakes. Ugh, I immediately regret that decision. <laughs> Okay, here are some festive mugs, and I just have to say this is probably the coolest mug I've ever seen in my life. Hey, they're pumpkin. They've got a mummy mug for five bucks, which please, hey boo. <gasps> this cauldron mug is calling my name. I mean, it's so small. What would you drink out of it, you know? Okay, in the kitchen section, this is noting that they have this like fall setup over here with the tablecloths and table mats and uh, mittens. I am making my way to the seasonal section, but on the way, you know, I'm gonna stop if I see anything cool or festive. So you can make your own haunted village kit. That's pretty sweet. And then all of these wooden crafts to paint. My kids love these. They're five bucks. I normally buy them when they're on clearance. Well, this is getting me excited. I see a lot of orange. So, I also see a lot of emptiness. Ooh, you hear that thunder? They're pulling me in with all the snacks, the candy corn mix here. I can't wait for Trader Joe's jingle jangle if I'm being honest. Hot cocoa spoons, the harvest sugar cookie kit, that's exciting. Sour or orange jelly pumpkin candy, they've got vanilla candy corn shaped gummies interesting uh caramel apples but also these are delicious not really worth the price but they're good these are not as good as those and that's all i've tried but the s'mores i would gladly try given the chance you got me feeling now they've got mariah carey blaring and i kind of want this soundtrack okay what is this? Marbled mummy. What? They're just pretzel rods. If you're planning a party, they have everything that you're going to need. Count Dracula hot drink bomb kit. Oh, it's like a DIY. <clears throat> That's fun. What about this hot drink bomb, but it's a gumball for four dang dollars. You got me feeling like I can't afford anything. Uh, slime punch witch's brew that's actually really cool and it's eight dollars and you get to keep the cauldron <laughs> that's fun. Uh, these gummy eyeballs are great and then they have candy bars okay if you don't want to make the gummy eyeballs into ice cubes you can just buy a pack of gummy eyeballs oh my gosh they have dracula teeth that's really fun and then oh brains more Fright Night cookie kit decorating. That could be really fun. A fun activity for the kiddos to enjoy for 10 bucks. Yes, please. A spooky graveyard. This one's $10, but then the rest are eight and 10. Is it just me or have these gone up in price? Six for 550? I feel like they used to be 399 and I still would scoff. I love how they have all of the Halloween like snacks for the kiddos. So the veggie chips are in the shape of ghosts and bats. Baked corn puffs. Really, it's just the bag <laughs> that looks different. Fruit snacks, all the fun stuff. Mm, I'm still hungry. Ooh, partake cookies. Chocolate chips, but they have pumpkins on the box. Wow, revolutionary. Okay, well, it looks like they're still stocking this section a little bit, but let's explore what they do have out. Ooh, this dog treat maker. Love that the dog is wearing a witch hat. That's hilarious. And then every season, these dash waffle makers come out with, um, I mean, obviously they've had them in the past, but every season they put out their seasonal ones. You guys get me. Spiderweb, pumpkin, skeleton, very cool. And then Target usually has their like seasonal, you know, pumpkin stuff, pumpkin bread kits, but then they have these, which I think are just fun. It's a whole little kit. If you're planning 
a night in with the kids. This would be good for the uh, Hocus Pocus 2 premiere party that we're all planning. The walking dyed cookies, little monster, what are those? Cookie dough bites? I'm sorry, I might get these just for me. Look how dang cute those are. Look, even Betty Crocker is getting in on this action. Bat cookie kit. Reese's stick to pumpkins, okay? They have Funfetti. I feel like they've had these forever with the matching icing and then pastry filled bags. They have extra icing if you're doing your own cookie decorating. They've got eyeballs. Actually, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> they have an array of sprinkles. These sprinkles look very cool too. Graveyard sprinkles and monster mash. Oh, and here are the silicone trays that we saw earlier. A couple things from the dollar spot. That skeleton skull tray, $10. Remember that from last year? <laughs> they have some trick or treat bags, which I feel like these sell out so quickly. Um, I've talked to our neighbors and we sadly don't have any trick-or-treaters that come to our house. This aisle will inevitably be filled up with outdoor decor. Oh, this could be indoor or outdoor. Uh, stacking skeletons. They have a strand of LED lights that say beware. And then they have this stacked pumpkin inflatable, which seems really nice. Three and a half feet tall. They've got pumpkins that light up. They have the trick or treat sign. That is a really fun wreath with the happy pumpkins. Love that. Oh, these are cute too. The hide and eek ice cream shop. That is adorable. Coffin club? Oh, like comedy club? <laughs> trick or treat pumpkins. Uh, these lanterns down here. This one says eek. It's $20. And here's some spookiness for ya. And then they have another wreath with some skulls. This drape garland is always fun. Oh my gosh, I love these lights. I think it's a, yeah, a motion projector. Oh, that's fun. I've always wanted a tandem bicycle like that. And then it looks like they have some spiders and graveyards and playgrounds, the seesaw, a cat and a pumpkin. I feel like sometimes Target puts things out, like last year they had stuff in August, you know, and everyone was up and all up in arms, Ooh, but now we're like halfway through September, where's the Halloween stuff? I like that this guy is orange, but I'm wondering where his legs are. The full skeleton is $40, and I'd say it's about five feet. I'm about five feet, so it's about as tall as I am. And they normally have some really fun things. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. So many scary things to see. Yeah, I love Halloween decorations. And then this guy, the pumpkin head. I feel like we have something similar to that. Let's see what this one does. Ooh. Welcome, welcome to my humble graveyard. It's so sweet to see you. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> That's $35 and 1000% creepy. These are some tombstones, $15, be afraid. And then of course they have a large variety of costumes which typically go on sale, like buy one, get one 50% off. And that is when I like to stock up on like play dresses for the little ones. Oh my word. <laughs> Oh, that, <clears throat> yeah, that would be real fun in my house. I literally just moved it, didn't press anything. I got some pumpkins. Looks like someone was in the middle of stalking this. Are you done yet? There you go. Okay, and then they have a skeleton band hanging on there. Is this $25? What do you do? Feed me dinner? Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, I'm excited about this. It looks like it's missing a piece. Okay, it looks like this is a cauldron mister. I didn't even touch the shelf of those guys. Don't buy those. <laughs> I could totally see how it would get old fast. But that cauldron, that would be a gem. Check out this huge pumpkin. I've seen people like recreating, I don't know if it's from anthropology or where, but it's like a really higher end expensive pumpkin and they just paint it to make it look the same, but 
I feel like these pumpkins would be a good candidate for that. Were you my grandma? Did you he hear that? Candy would be dandy, but a sweater would be better. No, sir, you are incorrect. Oh, the telephone is always a win. Try me. Okay. Well, I don't know how. <laughs> Some more random pumpkins over here. A lit pumpkin. Save your money at the pumpkin patch if you want to keep one year after year. Especially if you live in Florida where it's like super humid. And you, you carve a pumpkin and then two days later it's like ready for the garbage. <laughs> because it just molds over so quickly. These are some yard steaks for $5. Happy fall. Pumpkin here. Some crows and then what are these called? Bread baskets or something? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot, but they do have a Nomi. Oh my word, I love this. One year we were Inside Out characters and we had a, a wagon. It was like the, the hee-haw wagon, the wee-waw. What was that guy called? I can't remember it, but we dressed it up and that was fun. This is a rainbow wagon kit, so that would be exciting. They also have these reusable bags for $3 as like a trick or treat bag. Oh my gosh, look, another royal carriage wagon kit. That's really cute that they have those. Very practical as well. They've got some, oh, more pumpkins. I really enjoy that. Look, this one has like a, an LED light in it. Oh, that is exciting and fun for the kids. Well, also the adults because clearly it got me excited. They have some Halloween inspired water bottles and also some tumblers. They have paper platters and paper plates. They've got some balloons. Oh boy, the thunder, let it roll. Oh, tabletop decor, a big old pumpkin, some spiders, and then, oh, it's Halloween for sure. And then some stuff you can hang on your walls. Oh, we didn't see this one. These are $5 for two. So maybe the rest are $5 as well some more balloons for your walls this is always this is always fun if you're throwing a halloween party or something it's just a fun game witch hats and you just ring toss them or they have these pumpkin things and what is this a bucket ball toss this totally reminds me of what was it bozo the clown oh yay they have these bags that you can line up outside of your door. Hopefully it doesn't get knocked over. Block stacking game. And then let's see if we're winner winners. That's extremely hard to spin. Oh, I love this. It's like a decorate your own trick or treat pail. So it comes with some stickers inside. You can write your name on it. So that's fun. Oh, bingo kits. This is, oh, a scavenger hunt game. Okay, tic-tac-toe. I've gotten this several times in the past and you like get sticky spiders and throw it on there. So that's a good one. I don't know what we're being for Halloween this year. Do you guys do family costumes or what do your kids want to be? What do you want to be? I also shared the other day on my Instagram that they have a display of the Mrs. Myers cleaning products, acorn spice, apple cider, mum. And I think this one's new, the fall leaves. I don't like love any of them, but it sure seems like the uh, apple cider is the most popular because that's the most out of stock. Totally random. I've never seen this decadent s'mores kit before, but apparently it comes with Reese's and I'm down for that. They also have a cinnamon cookie butter s'mores kit. Never heard of this mess. And then, oh, a rainbows s'more kit bake and enjoy and then these pizzas are literally cracking me up <laughs> some people call this halloween cereal but we all know it's really dessert right blueberry count chocula halloween fruity pebbles wait are these rice krispies what's so special about these oh they're orange that could be fun oh cool i need a vegetable for dinner tonight and check it it's cone Okay, totally unnecessary, but maybe you'll appreciate it as much as I do. I like getting dinner ideas from these like takeaway kits that cost an arm and a leg and 
are usually cheaper if you get the ingredients and put them together, like barbecue pulled pork sliders. Oh my gosh, with mac and cheese. I'm drooling. This looks great too. Chicken cheddar mini dippers with barbecue sauce. It's just like non bread. You get some cooked chicken, you get some barbecue sauce in there, some cheese, you fold it over. I'm literally salivating. What is this? Burger bowls with tzatziki yogurt dip. Yes, Korean style barbecue and tacos with plant-based crumbles. Mm, yes, love it. You know where to come to find all the fall flavors. Actually, I bought these cookies. Delicious. I would buy them again. Yep, sandwich cookies, pumpkin cheesecake. I don't know about any of these other ones. Crisp cookies, caramel apple, pumpkin spice with white chocolate. And then of course these hazelnut things are always a hit. Ooh, shortbread cookies. <laughs> I'm so hungry. They also have, <laughs> somebody feed this woman. <laughs> Apple, cinnamon, pecan, trail mix. Ooh, that looks real fancy. Scarecrow Crunch, Monster Drizzle, Pumpkin Spice, Yogurt Covered Pretzels. Mm. Okay, the time has come. Let's check out the Target Dollar Spot. Always find some really great goodies. Looks like they have a tree, a spooky tree for $5. Some potion bottles, some coffins here, trick or treat glasses. These are more like Oh, they're plastic. Okay, I like that. And they're a dollar. That's quite lovely. Ooh, a candle. No, it's not. Oh, it is a candle. A pocketary candle, moonlit ashes. Mm, smells exactly. You know what this smells like? At home, the at home store. Uh, ooh, these are really nice. I feel like these are gonna sell like absolute hot cakes. I'm not even sure what they are. Like potion bottles, kind of with a snake and skull and crossbones some mummy feet there and then we have this absolutely perfect tray with the snake handles for five dollars couple of spatulas you've been booed and gone batty do people do this still you've been booed i don't have enough friends for that and then they have some trays up here five dollars these are actually really nice quality I like the pumpkin one over here too. Boo to you, a nice wooden sign. Oh, we peeked on these earlier. Okay, and then like the haunted house style. Let's see, it's $5. It also has some place to hang it. And then the ghost. That's probably my favorite, so darling. Okay, they are restocking, so I'm trying to give them the space that they need. So they have, they have some window decals, um, some of, more of these like apothecary looking jars. Some of them have stickers and I think some of them are plain. Oh my gosh, this one says Hocus Focus, Wicked Thorns. Oh, that is very fun. Okay, what else is over here? They have wood tags, a four count for a dollar. Happy Halloween. So if you're putting together some kind of gifts, oh, you've been booed. Oh gosh, I guess it is a thing. Trick or treat. They also have paper cats. They've got some lanterns for $5. I like these uh, like wooden doors and windows that just stand up. I bet you that's $5. I haven't seen anything for like more than $5 yet. So that's a plus. This broom. The broom is also $5, very cute. They also have a wreath and some socks. This doormat, is this a doormat? Is this for the floor? I think so. Yes, a Halloween rug. Oh gosh, is this five? Yeah, $5. That's a cute little bat. They also have some kitchen towels here. Oh, you can tell it's raining. You can hear everyone's shoes squeaking. Uh, the mugs and skeleton jars and then these cutesy little things if you do tiered trays bone at last is it like home at last keep out oh cute little witches <gasps> these are adorable zombie skin oh that's so fun venomous spiders oh i love these these are so stinking cute dragon scales they have this skeleton tray, $5 is I I don't know, a little much for me. Spider webs, always a winner, foliage. 
I feel like the pine cones are always a hit, especially, you can put like essential oils on them and then, you know, they say they hold the smell, but mm, it's iffy. The tiered tray down there. And what is this? The moon. It's exciting. Uh, this is just a, another tray, a framed base. Cool. Okay, here's some more Halloween stuff. Not much. They have some pillows in the dollar spot. Ooh, hot. Get it while it's hot. Yeah. Ooh, more wooden tags. 15 of these. Oh, they're not wooden though. They are paper, but uh, worth it because you get 15 for a dollar. Home sweet home. I think I love fall most of all. All right, certified fresh. Wait a second, do you spot it? Do you spot the Christmas stuff? I'm not talking about this, that's a fire hydrant. I'm talking about this. <laughs> that's really exciting. And they also have, what are those? Uh, uh, soldiers, oh my gosh, what are they called? Nutcrackers, oh gosh, somebody help me. Somebody help me and my brain. They have tapered candles. Mm, some jars. My children bark. Oh, how funny is that? Have we seen the fall stuff? Did I do a fall shop with me? I don't know. These jars seem pretty sweet too. Okay. Oh wait, more Christmas. Is this from last year? M Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. Yeah, they're coming back with that. Cut your own Christmas tree. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't wait for Christmas hot cocoa and all of those things. We've seen this tiered tray for $5. This wooden welcome sign, like is this a joke for $5? You can't even go to Lowe's and get a piece of wood that big for five bucks, you know? Uh, all right, oh, I forgot over here. Over here, look how fun, that is nice. Oh, look at this little tray. That would be really cute for like American Girl doll playhouse, you know? They also have these glass houses. Mm -hmm. And then we saw this hand with the globe. That's always fun. And I think we just saw this, but it looks better right here for whatever reason. What is this? A camera and a stack of books, golden style. This is a Lazy Susan with dividers. And then these mirrors are all fantastic. $5, I assume for each. They have an oval shaped, and that's that. Trying to only show you the super exciting things. <laughs> this cider jar looks really nice. This thankful uh, tea, what is this? A towel with an oven mitt. And then these cookie cutters and hey there pumpkin baking set. Okay, what does this one say? Nothing, just prints. Oh boy. Okay, we saw the sign, fresh pressed apple cider. And then, what is that, like mixing for drinks, a metal spoon, ooh, fancy for all your tea needs. Utensil holders, okay, that could be multi-purpose. And then they have baskets down here, and these are $5 too. If you can tell, they have like a little indation. They have a place where you can maybe hang them. Don't know, stackable, oh, they're stackable. And then they have a trick-or-treat basket. These are $3. Oh, try me. Why, what do you What do? You do? I don't, nothing's happening. Oh, okay, the bottom lights up. So you can keep track of your little ones nowadays. Oh my gosh, spooky sensory foam. <laughs> and then we saw the bubbles, all kinds of assortments of bubbles. A Halloween party, what is this, a little book. That's exciting, okay. Oh wait, what is this? Two reusable drink pouches with straws. Oh my gosh, how funny. A drink pouch? Would you trust a drink in a little pouch like that? <laughs> wait a second, okay, I didn't go down this aisle or really down this one, but what happens when I do that is I miss things like this where you can get a two pack of these spooky ooky candles for $2. I don't think the batteries are included. It doesn't feel like it, but they have black and white and that is exciting. They also have a cute little beanie. 
They have these, oh, really cool retro looking jars. That, those are actually really fun. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they are costume critters. So says the label <laughs> and you know what? I think they're really cute. Okay, I know I showed this in the beginning. I'm not sure if we got a good look on the candle opera, but there she is. And then the buckets also come in a white one that says boo. And this acorn, the acorn, five bucks. I don't, okay. If you were wondering, it's still raining. <laughs> Ooh, it's refreshing a little bit. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed seeing all of the Halloween stuff that my Target had. Uh, they weren't fully stocked, but I feel like they had enough stuff to, for me to like shop around with you. Okay, time to go home and get dry. I'll see you next time. Bye.